Hey guys. Hi y'all. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Davina. And welcome back to Whoosh Bang Pow. Alright guys, uh, we're watching, again, Orphan Black tonight, and I'm, wa <laughs> and I'm wearing uh, the shirt I bought from France yeah. when I was visiting my cousin. It's ooh la la yes. for Delphine, because yeah. Delphine is back, and j'aime Delphine. Yes. <laughs> the power of Delphine compels her. Delphine ooh la la. Yes. I don't know that many French words, even though I took like French for like three years in high school. It happens. <laughs> I took French in elementary school and lost most of it because in middle school we switched to Spanish. So Yeah, I switched to Spanish in college for like three semesters. Uh, Donde esta el baño? That's <laughs> like, where's the bathroom? <laughs> je ne sais. Je ne parle pas français. Hola, como uh, esta? Je parle français un peu. Uh, J'aime Delphine. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, okay, guys. Domino uh, uh Orphan Black today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. We're gonna watch. Vamos, excuse me. <laughs> We're going, going to, going to watch. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's probably still wrong. Yeah. I think it's still wrong. Right, is vamos the right? Because isn't that like going? Is that the right? I mean, vamos is going, but isn't it, it? It probably the right is way vamos. Of... Okay. So last week uh, we had some uh, storyline progress. <sighs> we had some weird stuff because there was some stuff that was obviously just being propelling the storyline to set right. up for shit. For today. Like, Hello? So today we're going to have a heightened episode, or it should be. I think it's going to elevate or heighten in some Maybe it won't be as fast paced, but it's definitely going to get heightened some way. Mm -hmm. um, but. I'm, I'm ready for it, though. I'm ready for Orphan Black. I'm ready to see Delphine. Yes. Um, Maybe some more Cosima today. Yes. Kofine. Anyway, we are going to be watching Orphan Black right now. Okay. I have a slight different scene from you. I really did love Delphine with straight hair. I thought no. it was like... I, cause she was no! So, cause, no! Because she was I love so, Delphine and that. No. I love the curly hair, but I loved that fierce attitude that she had. Flashback. You can't let them win. Uh, I'm intellectual property, Delphine. This, none of this matters. They made me sick. I will always work to protect you. Oh. And you will win. Think only, Delphine. Mm -hmm. Not your integrity. My integrity. Ooh la la. Yeah, ooh, ooh la la. Ooh la la, Delphine. Defy them. Live your life with every ounce of passion that I know that you have. Oh, God. They will never own you. That's hot. Stop it. I'd be dreaming of that one, too. <laughs> Let me rewind that memory. That was a good Black Mirror episode. Uh, we only have, what, five episodes left? I know, oh my god, don't tell me. Don't, just remind me of that. Don't, stop. I can't. I can't right now. I need to just be happy in this moment that we get Delphine back. Come on, get that. Tarek, moment. All your hard work is finally paying off. Ugh. Thank you. Bitch. It's good to be home. What? It's a very special night for all of us. I'll trust her. The villagers. Because I don't care. Hmm. Uh. I'm really glad that he just put the foot back in the shoe. Let's be honest. Men her age do date women his age. This is true. I mean, I'm in a May-December so thing it's myself. It's just... I'm not a foot subject. person. 
are awaiting hormone injections. That's not where I thought you were going. <laughs> That's why I thought it was going till he put it back in the shoe. There we are. Wait, why doesn't it go on her if stomach? Anyone deserves Casino's inoculation. It's you. Why doesn't it go on her stomach, though? Any of them. I'm confused. I'm confused as well. Oh, Delphine. I love her hair that way. I'm sorry. My cat. She's a oh, oh, my God. He put me at his right hand. Corporate runs the science. Oh. Fucking bitch. I want her to die. She's the only clone I want to die. Yes. They're manipulating tumors, not with chemotherapy, but with gene therapy. Leaky was studying skin and organ regeneration using the same gene in spidey mice. Oh. So they're using they it on her to study the regeneration? Yeah, regeneration, so you never grow old, you just regenerate. Kara, if you can teach me everything you know about that feeling, then I'll tell you whatever you want to know about all the grown-up stuff we do. Okay. We're trying to figure out if this man here is the same one as this man here. I wonder if he really this is. is. Just, you know, when her tumor was it is a really good question. Who's this? It's another one of PT's research subjects. He's been experimenting on someone up at the house. You are pushing too hard. They know you're digging. I have to. No, right now you're risking everything that I'm doing on the outside. What are you doing on the outside? Rachel has access to Kira. They've been testing her diet. What? Why didn't you tell me? I just got here on time, you know. Lynn 28A. Tell Westmoreland I found his fountain. Oh. We'll learn more if we play along. I'm gonna dress like this. Frock that. <laughs> <laughs> I love kissing that. This is not appropriate. <sighs> yes! I love it. Oh, I want him to get married and have a happy hey. life. What are you doing? And the same time. I know. Susan. Now, nah, bitch, sit at the other end. I'm not so sure anymore. Damn it. Ew. That's you have a lot of dead things in here. <laughs> 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 Taxidermy is the fading art of fading oh. species. I love that she's like, like, I realized I missed this. Never would have gained a spot on that. What a delicate balance you have. The clinical and the humane. Oh, God, I want him to die, too. So sorry I'm late. Hello, Kasima. Mm. I'll be right down. Really, bitch? You statement entrance? Which does not 
cause cancer, unlike Aisha, whose cancer you have manipulated, not cured. You mind your tongue. No, no. Cosima, Delphine told us um, you took a tour of my basement. Oh! Fuck! I should be leaving soon. Delphine, I know you have important work in Geneva. Yeah, that's right. What? Are you serious? Better leave while you can. What? Thank you. Sorry to cut your reunion short. What? Why? Why do they always have to separate them? Damn it! Oh shit. I'm so over it. <laughs> this is not looking good. Why would you tell him that I was in his basement? What's in Geneva? What's so important that you would throw me under the bus? Felix is there. Felix? Yes. Oh yeah. And, uh, we're all working on the oh, ending, but I... Again, God, hey, with hey, the hey. bra. What <laughs> the... Huh? Do you remember when you told me you were what? thinking? Stop it! <laughs> oh. You feel this? I made a promise. I oh, promised look to protect it. you. And I promised to defy them. Oh. oh. My gay heart. I can just accept them as it is. Oh. Oh my God. That felt like accepted. Yes. Go for it. Really? Oh my god, what an ass. You know he's gonna die, right? We all know this. Red shirt. We're pretty sure. And he's gonna die pretty violently with the axe, too. Go! Oh! Told ya. Yep. Children, do you even think about it like that? You can stop him, Susan. I can only steer him. You're a woman. You're a human being. If you don't start there, there's nothing left to mitigate. I'm gonna stop him myself then. Oh no! Lock the door behind me. All this suffering just so you can extend your life? You're not even 170, that's all smoke. I knew it! You can do it. I warned you. Go ahead. You do the ethical thing. You gave me life. I know you can take that away. You can't take away my humanity. him to die I guess he's the wizard right. he's the fucking wizard that's so cute I know look at the generations oh my god do you think Kira knows what the plan is like she can sense it in Rachel I, don't... I hope so how's Cosima she's healthy at least but we found out what they're really after in Kira a specific gene. Everything I know is on here. Because however they're planning to exploit Kira is happening soon. Whoa! Oh my god! Hey! No! Please! I'm not letting you Motherfucker. What the flipping fuck? Yes. Shit. And damn. Fuckity fuck. And fuckity fuck. What the fucking hell? All those fucking reactions we told you at the beginning. What the flying fuck? Grade. A plus. 
And it wasn't because Delphine was in it. Like, <laughs> Delphine's my Lena. Uh, no, it was an A+, because it was an excellent episode. I can't, I don't have any issues with this episode, outside of the fact that Delphine and Cosima are, like, yet again <laughs> separated. Um, but outside of that, there really wasn't much to criticize. This episode had everything. It heightened the stakes. We found out what's seriously going on. Um, okay, first off, uh, Kofin and their moments. I mean, I just love them and I hope they have a happy ending. We got to see them in wedding attire. I mean, my gay heart. And then the flashback. And, like, oh, I was so afraid that I might cry in there during this episode, but I kept it together. And I just enjoyed it and didn't cry. Um, but I love where they're going with that. That I know that Delphine's whole thing is to always protect the Sestras. And she's said it all along, and she does it in an unconventional way that makes us think that she's betraying Cosima. But we also know that she has to do it in a way that still gives her cover. And it makes sense. I mean, she has to give a little in order to seem like she's seriously on their side when really she's a double agent. And I love how Evelyn, as an actress, I mean, they're all great actors on this series, but she's just such a great... I mean, she's so restrained but yet grounded and so real and genuine and so, like... And her acting is just... God, what is the word I want to use? I mean, it's so genuine. Um, it's so present in the moment, and she's so engaged uh, and convincing. Whereas even I sometimes go, what side are you on? But in my heart, I'm always thinking she's with Cosima and the Sestras. And she truly is. Like, she's risking it, and she knows she's risking her life, and she's proven that she will die for the cause. Um, so I appreciated all of that. We found out about uh, Kira and the egg harvesting. Still, like, disturbing, and Rachel's on board with it. She has no humanity, which is the exact opposite of Cosima in that ending where she, she still held on to her humanity, even though she was in that flashback saying, kind of giving up, saying that she was owned, that... Delphine convinced her that they can't take away these things that are a part of you that have nothing to do with your DNA. But Rachel has no humanity. I want her to die. PT, I've always suspected whether or not he was really that old. He's not. I don't even think he, like, we've discussed it. I think he may, he's, he has something to do with that Neolution. He has something to do with it. Whether or not he's a descendant of PT or he was a worker that at some point conned his way into being PT, I don't know. There has to be a way that he's done it because there are people along the way that knew him. And they are dead now. However, there's always been generations. I, I don't know how he's been able to make it seem like he's the guy, whether it was facial surgery or plastic surgery or whatever. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Who knows? But uh, he's not really PT, and he's really just an old guy that doesn't want to die. Which, okay, I mean, who wants to die? We all, I don't know if I'd want to live forever, if given the chance. I mean, that's kind of the whole thing of being a vampire, is mm. there's something sexy about always staying young and living forever, but then you have to think about the consequences of living forever, and that means seeing people you love die, and die again, and die again, and die again. That seems like its own personal hell. Uh, Susan and Ira... Um, in this episode, again, I feel like Susan, um, God, she wants to do so much, but she feels powerless, which is the exact opposite of how she was, um, in the earlier seasons, which is an interesting just, just position. And then Ira glitching. Oh my God. Uh, let's see. Kira and Sarah. Kira talking to Sarah and then Kira teaching Sarah and then Sarah teaching Kira how to grift. That was kind of interesting and kind of cute, and now I feel like Kira, um, now that hopefully she's informed, she'll be less of a brat and more on the team and understanding why it's important to figure out what Rachel wants, and maybe she does know what Rachel wants because she didn't 
necessarily answer the question. So I don't know if she's trying to protect Rachel because she doesn't want to see Rachel die. Like, she still has hope, like, fucking Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader, that there's still goodness in her somewhere. I don't think so. I think she's going to die. She needs to learn we can't always get what we want. Right. Uh, Giannis, as the monster revealed, um, that that's possibly what could happen to Kira. Let's see, we got to see S in the timeline. So S is trying to figure out who this guy really is. I think S kind of doesn't think that PT is PT at this point. Like, I think she kind of sees the bigger picture and she's trying to connect all the dots to try and expose everything. Uh, so Geneva and Felix and Adele are there. And then Delphine's going to be there as well. Let's hope that she's maybe in the next episode. I'd just like to see more Delphine. Doesn't mean that the next episode is a guaranteed A+. Um, although this episode was just awesome. I can't say enough good things about it. Let's see. What is that? Oh, female writer and director in this episode. Yay! I love seeing that. I love that these showrunners are pro progressive in that way. Um, but these showrunners have always been progressive in that way. We need more of that. If you're going to have female leads, you need female representation in the writer's room and behind the camera. And it doesn't just mean directors. It means, it means your DP. It means your lighting crew. Um, as many females back there as you can get. Uh, let's see. Um... I think that's most of what I wanted to cover. Um, I did like the whole generational in the bed. That was really that was so cute. Good. That was really, really cute. Um, but yeah, it looks like Kira's going to teach Sarah how to... And I wonder how that's going to uh, develop into the next five episodes. Are they going to be able to telepathically connect with each other? Are they going to find out that Kasima is in a fucking cage? And how are they going to save her? Is Mud going to let Kasima out of that cage? I don't know where Mud's allegiances lie. I don't know who Mud is. Who like, is who is she? Is she the daughter of that guy? Is she the granddaughter of that guy? Um, I don't know. She seems aligned with him. And I, mean, I don't know what the fuck's going on with Mud, but hopefully we find out next episode. So A plus for me... What about you, Jimmy? For me, definite A+. Plus. Um, we've got more questions as a result of this episode, but I feel like we also got a lot answered. Even if we got a new question with the answer, we still got a lot going on. I really loved the history that they did. Um, I have that same theory that PT is not really the same PT from years ago, but I really feel like it's somebody associated with the experiment. Um, he saw where it was going and maybe he decided it's going here, but maybe we could go here. I have a theory, however, about what's really going on, considering the stuff with the cloning, mm -hmm. considering the stuff with the eggs. And you kind of mentioned this with the whole vampirism and, you know, different things where, you know, immortality is a thing. But the thing is, generally... If you want to live forever, you want to be immortal, you want to be young. My theory is that he's trying to determine a way to not only cause the regeneration and everything else so that you have the perfect outcome, but also to then be able to have flow of consciousness, like with Kira connected with the sisters, mm -hmm. so that he'd be able to flow of consciousness go into the next body. Do they know I, the, Kira has that, though? That's I don't know that they know that yet. I don't think they know it. So but I, don't I feel know like if, if slash when they find that out, then, because at this point I think it's a matter of time. If slash mm -hmm. when they find that out, I feel like that's kind of his, or if she was, she might not have been the first person to experience this either out of the clone set and clone underlings. So if so, he could be trying to drive at, basically having his memory still exists into like a clone from him so that he would effectively still be living forever but now with a better body that's able to more regenerate and stay younger longer so that's kind of my theory on how that's going um as far as what his actual end game is because there's got to be an actual end game um the caffeine that made me smile so hard the wedding attire i was like oh my gosh and then when he comes in in the freaking same exact tux i'm like 
Okay. The juxtaposition with them at the opposite sides of the table. That was the staging was amazing. The bed scene with the three generations actually reminded me heavily of the episode of Charmed when Mm -hmm. Phoebe has to vanquish Cole and the sisters all get in the bed and comfort Phoebe and it was like, oh. So that's what that kind of reminded me of. And with her holding the teddy bear, it's kind of like her holding the next, next generation. So, um, Giannis, that shit was sad. I was, I felt it coming. I knew it was coming when she went to comfort him and then she had the freaking gun. I did not know he was going to lock her in the cage though. And I'm hoping that at least mm. there's somebody coming in to remove Giannis from the cage. Cause that's just fucked up. It was already fucked up and now you just fucked it up to infinity. That would be fucked up. That's ugh. Um, well, what? you don't need a decompose decomposing body in the house that's gross that's gross um what else um oh the fact that he uh, more confirmation on the fact that he's sick that's why uh, again i kind of agree with him doing the testing and everything else because i feel like he doesn't just want his body to be healed and to move on i feel like he wants to be in a more perfect body and it is a science fiction series mm-hmm. so i feel like it's not a stretch for them, to, for him to want them to be developing some way for that to work. Um, what else? Rachel's a bitch and she needs to die. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm really excited for next episode because Adele is one of my favorite new side characters. I want her to be brilliant with helping trace down this money while also being drunk off her ass. Like it's, she she makes me smile so because she is so fabulous and so fucked up at the same time. It's it's amazing. With them being in Europe, I want Felix to just be gay as fuck. They're in Geneva. <laughs> Wait, Geneva. Switzerland. Yeah. So in Switzerland, I want him to just. Felix is. But it's not like it's Amsterdam. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> but still, I mean... I'm not saying that people don't gay it up and sw- I actually flew into Geneva. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm, I'm, just, I'm really excited. I want Delph. I don't think there's been that much interaction with them, so I would love to see Delphine be uh, in this episode, used more, interact with them. I feel like the, the play off of each other would be really cool. Um, I also... I'm. I don't want her to just be stuck in the orphanage. I want mm-hmm. to see a little bit more Helena again. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, other than that, I pretty much agree with everybody. Every, everybody, everything else that it's just one other person here with me. I, would, I pretty much agree with everything else that um, Davina said. Like it, it was it was solid, great storytelling. It was elevated from the previous episode. And it just, yeah. it was it was great. 100%. I'm I'm looking forward to next time. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna disagree with your theory, and here's why. Okay. Um, because Helena and Sarah were were the originals that came from. Uh, the original. <laughs> they were the twins. So therefore, the connection that Helena is feeling is from that. From her and Sarah being twins, right? Mm -hmm. Kira feels that because she's a descendant of Sarah. I don't think any other clones have experienced that because they weren't the originals. Mm. And therefore, no one else has had babies outside of Helena and Sarah. And Helena still has yet to have her babies. Mm -hmm. Um, So I don't feel like anyone... Like, he doesn't know that consciousness, the the telepathic... um, connection that they have so i don't i feel like he literally is going into it as a regenerative gene he wants to regenerate his body but i think that's his end game he's trying to find that genome and isolate it and reproduce it and give it to himself to then reproduce his own genes to sell his own cellular structure i think that might be a little bit more plausible than having his consciousness Because that turns into a Black Mirror episode um, of, like, San Junipero. (laughs) And I don't know if this is going to be a San Junipero type thing. Mm. Um, 
where you can have your consciousness uploaded into a cloud and then downloaded into someone else's brain. Uh, it's an interesting theory. I would watch that movie. I think they've made a movie like that. Uh, but that's my only thing. And then... Um, it's like Dollhouse with Combs. Right. And, fe- oh my God, you're right. Delphine and Felix. It's Delphine. She got baggage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it now. I don't know how to do a British accent. I don't know how to do Felix's British accent. I really want to see Delphine interacting with Adele because I feel mm-hmm. like that would be such a straight man crazy bitch situation. Yes! Like Delphine's so uptight right now. Yeah. Well, she's always been a little uptight. Let's just face it. It's, yes. She has. She has. Um, so it's just going to be too. Oh, oh, that's going to be so good. If they're stuck week. in the con with each other at you, the same time. You know what would be great if Crystal was also in next week's episode? Oh my God! <laughs> I miss Crystal. Oh my god. (laughs) If we could have Crystal in the next episode, I would be in heaven 100%. It would be amazing. Amazing to have Crystal in this episode. And maybe, like, have her interacting with more than just Sarah. Uh, I don't know who else she reacts with. Maybe she could give Kara a makeover. <gasps> oh my god, I can do your nails. Yes. And your cuticles. Yes. You're never too young. You're never too young. Oh. That's it for us guys. <laughs> if you like this episode, please like and please subscribe. Comment below. Um, share it with your friends. Let us know what you think of uh, our comments this episode. Please, we love interacting with you guys. Uh, so comment below. Yes. We'll see you guys next time for more Clone Club on Orphan Black. Bye. Hey, guys. Hi, y'all. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Davina. And welcome back to Whoosh Bang Pow. All right, guys. Uh, we're watching, again, Orphan Black tonight. And I'm, yes. wa- and I'm wearing... a. Uh, the shirt I bought from France yes. when I was visiting my cousin, it's ooh la la yes. for Delphine because yes. Delphine is back and j'aime Delphine. Yes. The power of Delphine compels her. Delphine ooh la la. Yes. I don't know that many French words, even though I took like French for like three years in high school. It happens. <laughs> I took French in elementary school and lost most of it because in middle school we switched to Spanish. So. Yeah, I switched to Spanish in college for like three semesters. Uh, Donde esta el baño? That's like, where's the bathroom? <laughs> je ne sais. Je ne parle pas français. Hola, como uh, esta? Je parle français un peu. Uh, j'aime Delphine. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, okay, guys. Vamos uh, a ver uh, Orphan Black today. Okay. <laughs> Yes, we are. We're gonna watch. Vamos, excuse me. <laughs> We're going, going to, going to watch. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's probably still wrong. Yeah. I think it's still wrong. All right. Is vamos the right? Because isn't that like going? Is that the right? I mean, vamos is going, but is it? In it probably the right is way vamos. Of... Okay. So last week uh, we had some uh, storyline progress. <sighs> we had some weird stuff because there was some stuff that was obviously just being propelling the storyline to set right. up for shit. For today. That's what I so today we're going to have a heightened episode, or it should be. I think it's going to elevate or heighten in some Maybe it won't be as fast paced, but it's definitely going to get heightened some way. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm, I'm ready for it, though. I'm ready for Orphan Black. I'm ready to see Delphine. Yes. Um, Maybe some more Cosima today. Yes. Cofine. Anyway, we are going to be watching Orphan Black right now. Okay. I have a slight different theory from you. I really did love Delphine with straight hair. I thought no. it was like... Because she was... No! No! no. She was, I love Delphine and that. No. I love the curly hair, but I loved that fierce attitude that she had. Flashback. You can't let them win. Uh, I'm intellectual property, Delphine. This, none of this matters. They made me sick. I will always work to protect you. Oh. And I, you will win. 
The only Delphine. Mm -hmm. Not your integrity. My integrity. Ooh la la. Yeah, ooh, ooh la la. Ooh la la, Delphine. Defy them. Live your life with every ounce of passion that I know that you have. Oh, God. They will never own you. That's hot. Stop it. I'd be dreaming of that one, too. <laughs> Let me rewind that memory. That was a good Black Mirror episode. Uh, we only have, what, five episodes I left. know, oh my god, don't tell me. Don't, just remind me of that. Don't, stop. I can't. I can't right now. I need to just be happy in this moment that we get Delphine back. Come on, get back. It's a moment. Oh, you are hard work. Is finally paying off. Ugh. Thank you. Bitch. It's good to be home. What? It's a very special night for all of us. I'll trust her. The villagers? Because I don't care. Hmm. Uh. I'm really glad that he just put the foot back in the shoe. Let's be honest. Men her age do date women his age. This is true. I mean, I'm in a May-December so thing it's myself. It's great. just... I'm not a foot subjects. person. That's not where I thought you were going. <laughs> That's why I thought it was going until he put it back in the shoe. I'm so... Wait, why doesn't it go on her if stomach? Anyone deserves it's you. Why doesn't it go on her stomach, though? I'm confused. I'm confused as well. Oh, Delphine. I love her hair that way. I'm sorry. My cat. She's a liar. Oh, oh my god! He put me at his right hand. Corporate runs the science. Oh. Fucking bitch. I want her to what die. She's the only clone I want to die. Yes! Hey. Oh. Oh. Delphine. They're manipulating tumors, not with chemotherapy, but with gene therapy. Leaky was studying skin and organ regeneration using the same gene in spiny mice. Oh. Spiny mice has not so they're using they just, it on her to study the regeneration? Yeah, re regeneration so you never grow old. You just regenerate. Kira, if you can teach me everything you know about that feeling, then I'll tell you whatever you want to know about all the grown-up stuff we do. Okay. We're trying to figure out if this man here is the same one as this man here. I wonder if he really is. Like, just, you know, when her tumor was it is a really good question. Who's this? It's another one of PT's research subjects. He's been experimenting on someone up at the house. You are pushing too hard. They know you're digging. I have to. No, right now you're risking everything that I'm doing on the outside. What are you doing on the outside? Rachel has access to Kira. They've been testing her diet. What? Why didn't you tell me? I just got here on time, you know. Lynn 28A. Tell Westmoreland I found his fountain. Oh. We'll learn more if we play along. Play along in a dress like this? Frog that. <laughs> <laughs> I love kissing that. Married and have a happy hey. life. What are you doing? Huh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Rachel. 
sure we'll be around shortly. Oh, jealous. Yes, here we are. Sorry to keep you waiting. And the same time. I know. Susan. Now, nah, bitch, sit at the other end. I'm not so sure anymore. Damn it! Ew, that's you have a lot of dead things in here. <laughs> 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 Taxidermy is the fading art of fading oh. species. I love that she's like, like, I realized I missed this. Never would have gained a spot on that. What a delicate balance you have. The clinical and the humane. <laughs> oh, God, I want him to die, too. So sorry I'm late. Hello, Kasima. Mm. I'll be right down. Really, bitch? You statement entrance? Trust. We have to figure out what they want first, and then give it to them. The 